Republican governor Brian Kemp wins re-election NBC News projects, fending off a challenge from Stacey Abrams. Because Kemp, who defeated Abrams in 2018, is expected to win more than 50% of the vote, there will not be a runoff. The race had been seen as one of the marquee governor matchups in the country, with the candidates taking starkly different positions on voting rights, crime, gun laws, abortion, and other issues. In recent weeks, however, Kemp had pulled away in the polls leading Abrams in most surveys by upward of 6 percentage points. Kemp won decisively despite having found himself a constant target of attacks from former President Donald Trump. Trump had crusaded against his fellow Republican after Kemp refused to help him over overturn the 2020 results in Georgia. President Joe Biden's victory there helped cost Trump re-election. But Trump's hand-picked candidate in the Republican primary, former Senator David Perdue, lost handily to Kemp as Republican voters expressed wariness with Trump's involvement in the state party. Abrams had aimed to mobilize the Democratic pace, trying to inspire and register disaffected Georgians and turbocharge turnout. In recent weeks, she had leaned in to push herself as a polled progressive, with ads that presented her as a math whiz with liberal ideas to raise teacher pay, extend the childcare and fund preschool. The race was a rematch of the 2018 race, which Abrams lost by about 55,000 votes after she launched a huge effort to register new voters. Abrams never formally conceded and refused to call Camp's victory legitimate, claiming Camp, who was the state secretary of state during the race, hadn't done anything to protect voting rights or combat allegations of voter suppression. Democracy failed in Georgia, Abrams said, after the contest, which was marred by allegations of voter roll burgeoning and suppression largely affecting black voters. Abrams continued an aggressive voter registration campaign, making her a hero among progressives. Some credit her efforts with Democrats' successes in painting Georgia blue in the presidential election two years later. A pair of Democrats, John Ossoff and Raphael Wernock, would go on to win runoff elections to flip Senate seats held by the GOP and hand Democrats narrow control.